Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial. Today it's on Hexagon Skywars. Now this is a really awesome free Skywars plugin that you can download from Spigot. It has some really cool features and it's very easy to set up a map. The only slight problem is that the default language is Russian. Uh, hopefully in the future the developer adds uh, an English language file so you can easily switch between the two. Um, but without further ado, let's get into the plugin. So first of all, we're going to have a quick game by doing SW join and then the map name. Uh, once we've done that, you'll see some title messages popping up and we also have various things we can buy with points. And as you can see, we bought a furnace and some food and some coal. And we also have a scoreboard on the right. Um, as you can see, everything is in Russian because I haven't changed it but um, I could have done in the config file which we'll have a look at later. So the chests have random items in as you can see there are um, some armor, food, weapons, that, that sort of thing and um, my other account should be somewhere don't know whereabouts he is, he's probably over here uh, but we are going to go sort him out in a second after we've eaten some chicken uh, so yeah this is Skywars as you saw, everyone spawns in these glass cages. Uh, so I'm just going to go in game mode 1 and find out where he is. So he is, there he is, over here. So I could either use a sword to kill him or I can just shoot him off with a bow, uh, which is probably easier. There he, there he goes, goodbye. And off he goes. So he will die in a few seconds and we will win the game, there we go. And obviously I would get points for beating him. So that is how it plays out, and if you want to create um, create a map, it's very easy to do. I recommend using Empty World Generator, um, which is a great uh, plugin that generates an empty world, as the name would suggest. So um, oh, uh, apparently, I'm I don't have permission. What is going on? So uh, oh no, there we go. So. Um, empty world generator is the one we want. So let's go ahead and create an empty world by doing MV create, uh, let's call it test2 and the world is going to be a normal world with the hyphen generator empty world generator. There we go. Before we teleport into the world we just created we need to set the spawn in the lobby world so if we do SWS set spawn that will set the lobby spawn. So um, if we teleport to that it should be completely empty, so MV confirm, and there we go. So we have spawned in a completely empty world, and we are falling. So once you're in here, you can either build a map, or you can download one from the internet. So I have already done that. So if we do for slash schematic, spelt correctly, schematic load one, and we're going to paste it like that, hyphen A, and it should be there. So this is the world I've downloaded. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to download it. Uh, it's a really awesome world. It's already got all of the beacons which are necessary for players to spawn, so make sure you have that. Um, but other than that, we are ready to start defining the map. So if you do S SW help, you'll see all the commands and uh, the translation in Russian. Uh, so first of all, let's go ahead and go to the bottom corner. This is going to be position 1, so if you do SWS POS1, that will set POS1 and fly up to the top right hand corner all the way over here and this is going to be POS2. So once you've done that you can um, you can put all the beacons down so this is where the cage will spawn make sure there's a big enough gap uh, so it doesn't destroy anything and make sure there's chests and other stuff for items to spawn. So once you've done all that all you need to do is SWS uh, create here which is a strange command I've never seen that before and we're going to call it SW2 for example and uh, some information will pop up and it will say uh, something in Russian which probably means uh, it has been created successfully so after doing that you can set min players by this SW set min players 2 uh, as it's only me and my other account and yeah you can then do SW start, SW stop, SW join uh, to join the game so let's do SW stats and we can see that we have five something, two something, three something else and 450 presumably points which we can spend in the GUI shop when you first join. So if we do SW um, join and then SW2 we'll be teleported in SW2 and we can buy all of these things. So wood, 
we could get full golden armor or one ender pearl and there we go so um can't actually use that straight away so i wouldn't recommend it uh, but that that is how you set up the plugin in game we are going to have a quick look at the config file so here we are in the sky wars folder and as you can see there are a few yml files if we look at chess.yml first you can see this has all of the different items and the percentage chance of it spawning the amounts that will spawn and obviously the id of the item so you can obviously take away and add items at your leisure um, but for example 261 i believe is bow or arrow one of the two and one will spawn so it's probably bow and the chance is 20 percent for example um, so let's go into the next one config uh, this just has a few pieces of information such as auto join when it's two uh, min players two as well the chest refill time and the reward for winning in points and then obviously you spend that in the GUI shop. At the bottom we have the language file so this is Russian by default and obviously you could Google translate this but as I said before hopefully the uh, developer makes an English um, YML file so you can easily just swap them in and out and finally the maps are here so this has all of the information for the maps uh, very straightforward, but you don't need to edit any of that. So that is the plugin. It's really awesome, even though the text is in Russian. But once that's fixed, it'll be a great free plugin uh, that you can download. So subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.